Hello everyone! In this DIY I'm going to make a window screen for our front door. During the summer we like to open a window to let fresh air in, and it would be great if the mosquitoes stayed out. Two years ago we've installed this velcro screen, but as you can tell it's getting loose already. And to be honest, velcro is not a very practical solution when it comes to cleaning or storing the screen during winter time. The space between the window and the window frame is very narrow. So with some spaces I try to decide, okay, how much space do I have between the window and the window frame? And it turned out to be nine millimeters. So with these dimensions, I went searching online and got to the website of a local hardware store. And there I found this product. It's a magnetic window screen. On the images it looks very flat, so it could be a solution. You can also get it at Amazon. I will link to the products in the description below. So it was time to go shopping. Back home I removed the existing net and the velcro strips. Fortunately they left behind a lot of glue residue. At first I tried WD-40 to remove the glue. But after I started using refined petrol I got much better results. So I would definitely recommend that. Finally, I gave everything a good wipe down. The box contains a very simple manual, just six images. So I will take you through the install step by step. Besides the manual, there are four metal strips with an adhesive side, the red tape, four magnetic strips, plastic strips for the frame, and of course the screen itself. Before the assembly I made sure that the total thickness would not exceed the 9mm I've measured before. As you can see the total thickness is about 5mm, so that's fine. Step 1 is measuring the width and the height of the window frame. Make sure to account for the thickness of the corner pieces as they stick out 2mm on each side. I accidentally forgot that, so I had to make adjustments later on. Step 2 is cutting the metal strips to size. I used a hacksaw to get the job done. Step 3 is putting the metal strips in place. They will let the magnetic frame stick to your window frame. Don't remove the red tape all at once, but bit by bit, while steering the strip into its desired location. Give it a final push to make sure it sticks well. Now it is time to assemble the window screen itself. As the fourth step, I would recommend to attach the pieces of cord to the two corners of the frame. In the manual this is done after the frame is already assembled, but I think it's much easier to do it now. 
The packaging contained a piece of fishing wire. I didn't know where it was for until my wife suggested something very smart. You can use it to get the cord through the hole in the corner piece. Let me show you how. Step 5 is putting the plastic frame together. Make sure to place the longer sides of the trim all the way through the corner piece for more rigidity in the frame. Step 6 is cutting the magnetic strips roughly to size. It's best to fine tune them while actually pushing the strip into the frame. Step 7 is putting it all together. According to the manual you should place the tip of the screen in the corner and start from there. But that proved to be difficult. So I let the screen overlap a bit and cut it to size in a later stage. Now started the process of pushing the magnetic strips into the plastic frame with the screen in between them. I tried to keep the screen as flat as possible, but also resisted the urge to put it under tension. Otherwise the window screen would warp. Meanwhile I kept checking the dimensions by using my folding ruler. I found this part the most tedious bit of the DIY. Next up was cutting the screen to size, and with a sharp box cutter that's a very easy job. One tip, place the knife under a 45 degree angle between the plastic trim and the magnetic strip for a clean cut. And there you have it, one magnetic window screen for an exterior door window. The final step is placing the bug screen in the window. I found out that you can maneuver or stretch the frame while in place to make the screen perfectly flat. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try to answer all of them. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Do you want to see more DIY projects? Then consider subscribing to this channel.